Well, a lot is going on in the world of Trump-adjacent weirdos. A judge has ruled that a series of major defamation lawsuits against three Trump allies who lied about the election can move forward. A cyber expert admitted that MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell has no proof for his election lies. And a damning new transcript from a separate case has emerged in which Rudy Giuliani told federal agents it's okay to lie during a political campaign. For more on this, it's time for A Closer Look. The lie that Donald Trump won the 2020 election is the central animating belief of Republican politics today. That's why GOP state legislatures in states like Georgia and Texas have been racing to pass voter suppression laws despite zero evidence of any widespread fraud. In fact, according to Vox, Georgia Republicans are already putting their new law to use. I mean, damn, that was fast. The next election's 15 months away and they're already trying to undermine it. I never think that far ahead about anything. Every single year I say to myself, I'm gonna get my wife something great for our anniversary, and then the next time I think about it is when my wife says happy anniversary. And you know how they say it's the thought that counts? Well, it turns out that's bull because I assure you, I thought about it. Like, I could show you the reminder I wrote for myself in my Notes app, although the Notes app is a trap. You only open it to write stuff down, you never open it to read anything. It would be just as effective to write your reminders on a rock and then drop it in a pond. Go ahead, open your Notes app right now. I guarantee all that's in there is the Wi-Fi password to some Airbnb and a phone number you've never called. Besides, my best gifts are my impressions. Why waste money on a physical present when I could just give my wife the joy and delight of a Mike Lindell? Happy anniversary, honey. I thought you'd enjoy this impression more than some earrings from the beers. Where are you going? I got more bear spun for you. Oh, God, no. Oh, she's leaving me. Oh, no, here come the tears. <laughs> By the way, we focus a lot on the voter suppression aspects of these laws, which are definitely bad, but even worse, these laws also give Republicans the power to subvert election outcomes they don't like. For example, in Georgia, the most ominous provisions of this new law allow the state election boards, which is dominated by Republicans, to seize control of county election boards. Those boards can disqualify voters, move polling precincts, and potentially even refuse to certify an election count. Well, thankfully, you know, there's no danger of that. I can't recall a time when Republicans ever refused to certify an election count. What's that? In January, well, I wasn't here. I was at impression camp, remember? I came back and you asked me if I worked on my Liam Neeson and I said, no, only a very few people can do Neeson because it requires a very particular set of skills. Misdirect, classic. Anyway. <laughs> Remember how Trump called the Georgia Secretary of State and tried to badger him into magically finding enough votes to change the outcome? Well, basically, Republicans in Georgia made it easier for him to succeed next time by allowing Republicans to take control of the county election board and say, Fulton, that's where we're at right now. Republicans saw a guy possibly commit a crime and decided to make it easier for him to pull it off. It's like if there was a rash of car break-ins in your neighborhood and the town council responded by outlawing the club. This is a true story. Sal wrote that joke, and Mel, who makes the graphics, is so young, she didn't know what a club was. <laughs> she thought it was a nightclub, and the easy way for Mel to remember moving forward is when Sal says the club, it's always the one you put on the car and not the one that Sal is too old to get into. <laughs> I'm the guy who writes a closer look. Just keep it moving, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna write a, club, a closer look about this club. <laughs> And yet even as Republican voters and lawmakers continue to codify the lie that the election was stolen from Trump, the people who push that lie are facing major legal and financial consequences for it. On Wednesday, a judge ruled that a series of defamation lawsuits brought by the election technology company Dominion against three Trump-adjacent crazy people can move forward. A federal judge will allow three major defamation lawsuits to go forward against some of former President Trump's most loyal supporters. Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, and My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell are all being sued for billions of dollars in damages by Dominion Voting Systems, which is the company that they falsely accused of election fraud. Dominion, which makes voting machines used in the 2020 election, wants billions of dollars in damages. The judge who issued the ruling was appointed by Donald Trump. Okay. So there are only two plausible explanations for what happened here. Either a federal judge appointed by Donald Trump ruled that unfounded claims of election fraud made by three Trump allies were not exempt from defamation laws, or Hugo Chavez teamed up with China and the CIA to use Italian military satellites to hack the judge's computer and alter his opinion, which was then printed out on paper, smuggled in from China, covered in bamboo fibers. The only way we can know for sure is if we take the judge's ruling to a cabin in Montana, examine it under a powerful ultraviolet light, then bury it in the backyard, wait three days, and see if it rains. 
man, I wish I could have seen Rudy's face when he found out. And that's saying something, because I've never wished to see Rudy's face. I mean, it could have been anything. The man has a whole range of expressions. Maybe it was this, or this, or this, or this. Who knows? He's the man of a thousand faces. And I'm guessing when Lindell found out, he was so shocked his mustache fell off. Side note, why does Lindell's facial hair look so cartoonishly fake? He looks like a gambler who changed his look to hide from the mob. He wants to see everyone else's voter ID, but there's a good chance if we saw his driver's license, it would look like this. Now, Lindell's been at a so-called cyber symposium in South Dakota this week, continuing to spread the lie that the election was rigged, and he's been live streaming the whole thing. So we got to see him react to this ruling in real time, and as you may have guessed, he showed his trademark calm and restraint. Oh, okay, this, this I found out. This is, I do want to say this. Before they come out, okay, remember I told you that um, this, is, this is news to me. I've read this for the first time. This is really bad for our country, everybody. They, uh, everybody needs to really listen up. This is just new to me. The federal judge just put in this afternoon, Dominion Voting Systems can move forward with defamation lawsuits against Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, my pillow CEO, Mike Lindell. Are you just reading this for the first I'm time? Just reading. Can you believe that? that? That is horrible, everybody. Your First Amendment rights to free speech just got blown out of the water. It's over. You can get sued for everything now. Nothing matters anymore. Watching someone get bad news in real time at their own symposium is my new kink. This is like if Tony Robbins lost it during one of his self-help seminars. You have to push out your negative feelings and take control of your emotions. Hold on, it's my assistant. What do you mean they don't have blue cheese? What kind of self-respecting just salad runs out of blue cheese? I will not calm down, Pamela. My whole day is ruined now. Also, I like how Lindell suddenly takes on the exhausted energy of a substitute teacher when he's trying to tell everyone how much deep he's in. Hey, guys, listen up, please. Uh, oh, come on, guys. If, if we don't do the lesson play. We can't watch Free Willy on Laserdisc. Hey, come on. What are you doing in the cal... Come on, guys. You can't type boobs, okay? And don't tell me the calculator was hacked by Hugo Chavez. Why? Because you're going to get sued by Texas Instruments. The best part of that clip, though, is how Lindell involves everybody else in the room by telling them their free speech rights are blown out of the water. Like, whatever happens to him is happening to America. Guys, bad news, the doctor called and it looks like America has super high cholesterol. No more lunch ribs for America. <laughs> By the way, as this symposium has been happening, a cyber expert who has examined Lindell's supposed evidence apparently admitted they can't actually prove any of his claims. It's all both very complicated and also extremely insane. But to boil it down for you, the Washington Times reported that the key data underpinning the theory that China hacked the 2020 election unveiled at the cyber symposium is illegitimate. The cyber expert said, we were handed a turd. Yes, but in fairness, that's what they used to fill my pillows. Rock hard, calcified turds. Honestly, poor cyber experts, you go to school to get a degree in computer science, spend your whole career mastering a highly specialized skill that would be actually very helpful in today's high-tech economy, and then a psycho pillow magnet hands you what I'm guessing is a garbage bag full of dry cleaning slips and CVS receipts and said, I need you to switch who the president is. So Trump's gang of weirdos has these big defamation lawsuits hanging over their heads. And I'm exactly, I'm guessing, it's not exactly going to help Rudy Giuliani in 2018, according to a newly released transcript from an interview with federal agents, he basically admitted that he thinks it's okay to lie during a political campaign. The Washington Post now reporting that ex-Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani, who took Trump's election fraud claims to court and failed, told federal agents back in 2018 it was okay to throw a fake in the course of a campaign. Post says that during that same interview, Giuliani's then law partner, Mark Mukasey, added that during a campaign, quote, you're under no obligation to tell the truth. That's right, Rudy told federal agents it was okay to, quote, throw a fake during a political campaign. First of all, why did he use the term throw a fake? Was he watching a boxing match in the back of a Staten Island butcher shot? I paid him 100 bucks to throw a fake. I told him to take one hit and then make this face. But the funniest, I can't believe we had another one. But the funniest part about this admission from Rudy, though, is that it was seemingly totally unnecessary. His law partner at the time, a guy named Mark Mukasey, was trying to gently explain that sometimes people in general exaggerate in political campaigns, not Rudy, Specifically, but Rudy couldn't help but chime in and confess. Mukasey, in the heat of a political campaign on television, I'm not saying Rudy necessarily, but everybody embellishes everything. 
Giuliani, oh, you could throw a fake. Mukasey, you're under no obligation to tell the truth. Giuliani, you could throw a fake. What was the prep for that meeting like? Just keep your mouth shut, Rudy, and I'll do the talking. Got it. I might jump in a few times to say you can throw a fake. Don't do that. I won't. Maybe just a couple of times. Don't do it at all. I'll just do it twice, but I'll wait until they're recording. Rudy, I promise I won't do it. Do you really promise? No, I'm throwing a fake. The Republican Party is busy trying to cement the big lie that the 2020 election was stolen by using it to justify new voter suppression laws that'll make it both harder to vote and easier to overturn results they don't like. Meanwhile, the people who concocted that lie are facing major legal and financial consequences because in the court system, facts still matter, as opposed to Republican politics where... Nothing matters anymore. This has been a closer look. God's Love We Deliver cooks and brings over 2 million meals a year to men, women, and children living with HIV, AIDS, cancer, and other serious illnesses. And they need your help now more than ever. If you're watching this online, you can hit the donate button. Stay safe. Get vaccinated. We love you.